energy talk. <laughs> Finding my rhythm, my body come with it. I'm tuned in, I'm keeping it simple. I'm telling you, I just wanna fly. I thought you knew that. Gotta get synced up with the vibe. That's why you How'd you do that? I had to believe to become the guy. Welcome back to me, to you. Where are you right now? It feels good to be tapping in with you guys. How are we doing? Happy Monday. It's a beautiful day. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for life. My goodness. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. Wherever you are, take a moment this morning. Take It's Monday morning. Take a moment to be with yourself. Anywho, today, if you're new to this channel, This is all about my journey, sharing my journey from all aspects of it and helping you along your journey. I love doing that. I love the journey of life and I hope you guys feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. I want you to feel fantastic. Let's have a fantastic Monday. Let's go. Okay, chase your dreams. Enjoy the process. Let's go. So today, today is all about how to know your next step. This is a huge insight for me, and I'm so pumped to share it, and I had such an amazing weekend, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of that. I wanna give you my current experience of taking that next step and my current practices with that, and it's just, I hope you guys feel good, and of course, Share your experience in the comments. I've been getting the best comments of all time lately, so I really appreciate that more than ever. And I also want you to, if anything resonates with you or anything you want me to dive deeper in or any questions you have, leave them there as well. So thank you for that so much. And I'm just so excited to be hearing those comments because when I hear them, I know it's resonating with you and that's just an amazing thing because I know me, but I want to know you because if I know me, if yes, okay. So this is an insight I had because this weekend I did my very first plant ceremony. Now, I'm not going to get into it. I may go over some of the quick insights I've had, but I want to let it ride. I want to let it integrate into me and make a whole video on that. So that is going to be my next video. And that's part of this next step process for me is understanding I need to do one thing at a time. So another thing I want to talk about is the puzzle analogy. So I'm going to give you another perspective on how to see uh, that helped me see my next step. And um, yeah, that's what I love about life is all the different little insights and how they intertwine. So let's just enjoy. So taking the next step, how do you know what your next step is? And if you saw the board behind me, it's about taking one step at a time. And one thing, one insight I actually learned from the plant ceremony, which was very fascinating, is I see my potential, I feel my potential, and my mind sees me as that person. So a lot of times I want to act like that, or I want to jump to that point. That's why on that board right there, it's like a staircase, right? You see the top of it one step at a time, and you want to be up there but you have to take these steps going forward. Now, the hard part for me is doing that, and this is what I came up with that is a really fun thing to share, is that when you find that next step and you're willing to slow down and take that one step, so you see where you wanna go and you're able to find the next step towards it and you take that one and you feel it, it feels good because it starts to build, and when you feel that building and you feel that momentum, there's no better feeling. And on, on the other side of that too, if you try to jump ahead to that next step, it can feel frustrating because you don't have a foundation, you don't have the steps between it, you're just reaching at it, it doesn't feel sustainable, it feels, uh, you might have missed it, it feels like it's just not a great feeling, and it's a, a, a fantastic feeling when you take that next step. So I hope by the end of this, you feel a way to get to that next step, and I wanna share my feel, uh, Uh, fears with that. So for example, in my experience, the reason I got to this insight was I see that I want to make this video. I want to do this thing. I want to achieve this physical goal. Right. And then when I say, okay, what are the steps to get there? And I create space. It feels like I'm slowing down. Now we do want to slow down. I've mentioned that, but it feels like I'm slowing down my progress because I'm not going towards it because it feels like I'm sinking deeper but that's what you're doing, you're sinking deeper. What I'm saying is it feels like I'm standing still, but I'm not just standing still, I'm sinking deeper and finding, when I sink deeper, I'm able to find those steps in between. And that takes a courage. I've talked about that in my last energy talk is that feeling of courage to do it. You have to take the action. But when you take that action and it excites you, you know it's the right action. So my recent experience with this was 
beautiful because I started to notice things. I love noticing patterns in life. And one of them was my soap was running out. My vitamins ran out. My groceries ran out. Like all these different things I usually pick up at the store over the course of the weeks. Like one thing runs out, another thing's still good. All these things were running out at the same time. And I love seeing the universe like that. It's like, ooh, this feels like a sign to me. It feels like an energy to me that things are coming to an end, like a pattern in my life, something. And that's where I was going through. I felt like I was on the brink of a next level. And I know we're always on the brink, but that's what it felt like. Now, the insight that I had that was very fun was I don't have to know the next step ahead. I can sink to the first step. So what I mean by that is I was feeling that Okay, it's things are coming to the end, which means it's time to bring in something new, and that's my new practice. My my step up above is time to create something new, and I wanted to start creating it, and that's too many steps ahead. So if I create space, now I see the clarity of the steps leading to that new thing, meaning I want to create that new thing, but I don't have clarity on what that new thing is, so I have to create space to build clarity, and those are the smaller steps. The smaller steps are taking time to simply be so I can build clarity. When I build clarity, then I'm designing what I want to create that's new, and then once I have the clarity on what I want to build that's new, I can start building that thing that's new. So that is exactly what I mean by sinking deeper, but in the past, I would say, things are coming to an end, I wanna build something new, start building it, and I would start building it, but I didn't build the foundation for it, I didn't have enough clarity on it, so I started building maybe the wrong thing, or I started building the wrong thing, and I wasn't sure why, right? But that clarity, if I go deeper, deeper and I say, okay, create a lot of space, let it breathe, take the first step, take the easiest step, take the smallest step. And that's what I didn't do in the past. And when I feel that it feels so good, that's why I put it feels so good on that chart. Because when I think of that, I, I had the awareness to say things are coming to an, to an end. It feels like I want to create something new, but it's not a, this. That's what I want to do. So I had the awareness to see ahead. And that's something I've learned through the ceremonies and also through my coaches and practices is that I love building the future. I love seeing ahead. I love envisioning the future, but you have to. Um, take the next step towards that. And that's something I've felt in my life because sometimes I feel like I go to the next level, come back, go to the next level, come back. And so when I ask myself, how do I get to that next level? You have to create a lot of time and space. So now the tools to do that are space, creating time and space and giving yourself permission to slow down. Because when you slow down, you are able to sink deeper. And so that's how I got to the insight that I need to um, build the clarity. Because when I said, okay, I know I want to create something new. It feels like I'm just like, I want to jump ahead. I can feel it. It's a feeling that I've gotten familiar with. Um, and that's what I hope these videos do for you is start to build that awareness on the things that you're feeling because those things are valid. So it's like, okay, I want to get that. That's, that's what I'm supposed to do. I know it. So, but I'm trying to jump ahead. So if you can see that you're trying to jump ahead, you could say, okay, I know I need to, I know taking the next step takes time. So I need to create space for it to flow at the right time. And you take the right steps at the right time. And when you do that, oh, that feels really good. And that's all it is, is feeling good. So anyway, I said, I need that space. I need that space. Created that space and just allowed the answers to come. It's like, what do I want to build? I just ask, what do I want to build? I don't know. So it's like, okay, well, I want to get clarity on that. Okay, how do I build clarity? Just wait Give it time to, to funnel in. For example, um, when you have a, 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 an ocean or a pool of water, right? If it's splashing, 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 you're trying to figure it out. It's very hard to see the ideas that are dropping. It's very hard to see what's causing the splashing or it's just very, very chaotic, right? But if you create space, it allows it to calm. It allows the ocean to calm. It allows the, the surface to get very flat. And then when you drop one pebble in it, boom, you see it ripple out, it's symmetric, it's beautiful, and you can see exactly what that was way clearer. And that's all it is. So I think in a future podcast, I will tell you what the clarity is and what I want to build, but I already have some insights. It's something with my business, it's with my creative projects. For example, I started to notice I need to do one thing at a time. So, so that being said, that's kind of my new insight of what the 
journaling is that I want to do or the creative projects is I keep making these projects, but not as big as I want them to be. So I want to make these really big projects, but I notice I do multiple things at once. So my new practice is doing one thing at a time. And that's why these videos feel so much better to me and they feel more uh, coherent. And also they feel like they're building something and they're also a complete thought. So in the past, I would have it, I would jump ahead, I would try to get the inspiration, do it. But I I wasn't taking one step at a time, I was trying to jump ahead. So that being said, is a new practice for me is having different journals, because writing is very powerful for me, uh, different journals for different parts of my life. So one is for my creative projects, that's the only place I map out projects, so it has the energy of that, and I can keep building in in that area of that journal and I don't get sidetracked, and another journal for my personal development, so when I have insights, when I have downloads, when I have um, ideas, anything like that, I can put it in that journal, or if I just want to journal my thoughts, right, and the reason for that is because if you're in the same journal, you're going to get sidetracked, oh, you have this thought, then you try to go back, it's just, it's, it's, um, intertwined your journals are just going to be or your ideas are going to be flooded with different things, but if you can separate one thing at a time, and you could, take that one step at a time, you could take that step fully, and now you're moving forward, and it feels amazing, Uh, and another one just for, like, basic tasks, is just, like, I use my phone just for basic tasks of, like, I gotta go groceries, I gotta do these things, I gotta do, call an accountant, all those type of things, so lastly is the other perspective of life as a puzzle, and this was a really cool idea I had as an analogy for what we're trying to do to find that next step, or take the next step, right, because we can't always get it right, so that, let's think of a puzzle, your life is a puzzle, you have a beautiful picture, you're making it's completely uh, maybe you have some pieces fitting together right when you take a puzzle piece you can't just put it right in the right spot it's not that easy right it's not always that easy and now here's the thing if you do you get in the right spot you got lucky you didn't really use any of that analysis you didn't learn about it you just got lucky right so you could get lucky all the time but that's imagine a, a thousand piece puzzle piece you think you're just going to pick up the right piece every single time that's really hard to do so if we see life like that is understanding we pick up a piece we try it but the more clarity we have say we're making a big, big picture of the ocean it's got the sky the sand you know the blue one guns go with the sky so that's the clarity you're able to see where that piece goes right And the beautiful thing about this puzzle analogy is you're always building your entire picture of your life. And maybe you have one for your business, one for your love, one for your self-expression, one for your health. Those are my four, by the way. So you're always doing that, right? But it's nice to know when you want to work on this one, know when you want to work on this one, and also know that you're always building one picture. So even if you do a lot of the sky and then you start working on the sand, it's still one picture of the ocean. Uh, And another one is if you're trying to put the puzzle piece in the wrong spot over and over and over again, you're turning it in different sides, you're trying to force it in, it's just never going to work, right? So if you're doing that and you're like, okay, this, that's resistance. That's saying, okay, I'm trying to put the wrong piece in the wrong place. Maybe it goes somewhere else. And you don't have to find where it goes. You could just let it be. Let it be and put it, let it go. And put it somewhere else and you'll come back to it, right? You can start building other things. And when you build other things, sometimes it makes it so obvious. Oh, that's where it goes because it could be that last piece. You know, you know where it goes, right? So that puzzle analogy really was just something I wanted to share. And I think, was there any more pieces of that? Pun intended. I don't think so. So keep building that puzzle of life. And when you're fitting the pieces and finding them, have the joy of doing it. Puzzles are boring, but if you see your life as a puzzle, it's amazing because you're making all the pieces fit together and puzzles are fun. We all want to make a picture. It's beautiful to see the picture coming together. So notice that. And I hope you find the joy in taking that very next step for yourself. And I actually help with that. In my energy coaching, that's what I do. I help you see a little clearer into your energy, what you're feeling. So together we can help you take that next step and I'll be there with you to take that courageous step. So be courageous today. Have a great Monday and stay tuned for my next video on my full plant ceremony experience. My first one. I'm excited to share those insights, those fun times, those wild times, and just what I've learned about myself, the tools I now have to navigate my mind and navigate life and woof, just share my journey with you. So have a good journey today. Let's do it. Never finish. Every step we're moving limits. Let's go.